Sylvia ndani ya studio karibu sana Sylvia Asanti Okay unasema umekuwa katika ukahaba yes. ni kitu uliacha mm. sasa hivi umebadilika umekuwa mtoto mpya Yes. Uliokoka ilikuwaje ukacha ukaba? <laughs> Kuacha sex work si lazima uokoke. Okay. Mtu anaweza amua tu ku venture into other things. Okay. Na si ati ni kuacha sex work like uh, mm. whatever I'm doing I'm doing in line of sex work. Yaani sex work is my umbrella. Okay. Like sex work is work like any other work mm. masawe. Mm. Kazi yako ni kam, na kazi ya Excuse me, mpatie jina nzuri. Yes, si sex prostitution si mm-hmm. u, u, uka, yani sex work it's mm. a profession and it's the only pros- profession in the Bible. Ah? Yes, it's w- a profession. Kwani kwani iko na certificate at it's a profession. <laughs> <laughs> Kuna principal anakagua <laughs> KPI yako ndio hii ndio hiyo sasa okay eh? you have to get this uh, <laughs> who is your target audience yes okay eh yeah. by okay. the way hivyo ndio iko like sasa for example mtu mama mzee maybe mama mwenyako 40 years and above mm-hmm. akona target audience ya waturika yake ama watu vijana wadogo kuna vijana wadogo wanapendwa mama wakubwa huyo mm-hmm. mama pia ako kwa sex work na ndiye analisha naye watoto wake so hiyo ndio maybe amekuwa akifanya hiyo kazi kuanzia time memorial mm. we cannot backtrack amefanya hiyo mm. kazi kutoka hiyo yeah, ndio profession yeye anajua wewe uliachaje ukahaba Sylvia so kuna mtu anakusikiliza sasa hivi kahaba <laughs> anataka kuacha lakini ajui jinsi atakavyoacha wewe uliachaje kwa like for example okay mm. as a maybe as a young girl mimi sana sana i work with young girls mm. young adolescent young girls mm-hmm. cuz nasikia mimi usikia vibaya maybe nikienda kwa street uh, doing my advocacy huko kwa street mm. cuz I'm, uh, I'm also an activist for okay. sexual and reproductive health mm-hmm. rights for young girls mm. so naona huyu msichana ni sex worker mm-hmm. akuapo kwa ground hana condom hana lubricant hana yes. nini yes so namuuliza uko na miaka ngapi mm. inaniuma sana nikiona msichana ako na maybe 15 ama 12 years mm. na ameanza na ameshajihusisha na sex work na maybe hajui hata rights zake hajui ni nini anafaa afanye yes. so vitu kama hizo zilikuwa zinanisumbua akili mm-hmm. so nikaanza tu pole pole like nikaanza ku, ku badala ya sasa nikienda hotspot hotspot ni mahali watu wana wanangojea clients, yes. clients so nikienda hotspot nikipata wasichana kama hao i just bring them together mali kando mnaongelesha na waongelesha okay. so ile nawaambia we unajua ukikuja hapa hivi mm. unafaa kuwe na condom unafaa kuwe na lubricant unafaa kuwa unajua huyu mtu akikuviolate unafaa u, mali unafaa kwenda unasema ukipata STI unafaa uende kwa hospitali gani ukipata mimba unafaa uende kwa hospitali gani yani kuwaelimisha tu kuhusu so ikakuwa kazi kama kila siku kila siku hiyo mm. ndio kazi yenyewe nafanya mpaka ilikuwa sasa inani, inanitoa kwa Kenya na biashara yeah. yako main. Yes. Kwa hivyo unasema kazi yako mbadala ndio ile kutoa kwa yes. your first profession. Yes. Naeka mabano. <laughs> <laughs> so nikuulize ni uh, Sylvia. Yes. Ulifanya ukaoba kwa miaka mingapi? Miaka tatu. Miaka tatu. Mm, tatu so, ine. Miaka tatu nne. Mm. Kwa siku ulikuwa unaenda na wanaume kama wangapi? Tano, sita it depends. Au choki? Unachoka lakini ukiangalia pesa hapo utachoka. Uta so wanaume tano, sita mm. pesa ngapi? ina depend pia ukiangalia huyu ukimwona anaweza toa pesa no, kwa jumla tu ope, kwa jumla yeah. kwa 10 15000 yeah. in a day in a day okay hmm. so uh, u, uliwacha pap hmm. ama uh, process yako ya kuacha ilikuwaje no masawe kuacha sex work uwezi wacha instantly hmm. inakuanga process mm-hmm. like siwezi sema ati mimi sio sex worker by the way mimi hiyo ndio jina yangu ama hmm. sex worker So siwezi sema ati hata nikienda hapo kwa ground nianze kuongelesha wasichana na niwaambie mimi nimeacha umalaya mm. sasa nyinyi ndio mama leo mnafaa mfanye hivi no it does not work like that ama sex work lazima ukuone kama mmoja wao yes si watu okay. wanione wanajua mimi ni mmoja wao unashika so ina maana hujabadilika sio okay unaweza badilika lakini una, unapata ndio usaidie wengine lazima pia uangalie the njia yenye uta, utaweza kufikia wengine kwa sababu we masawe wezi enda hapo we uanze kwa hawa sana watakupiga mm. unawaambia nini mm-hmm. kuna kitu kingine utawapea apart from sex work hakuna kitu utawa offer okay yes. so ndio wewe utoke mm. to win you off mm. kutoka kwa ukahaba mm. ulikuwa ilikuwaje ulitokaje mm. so kutoka ay, nili Okay after sasa kwa kwanza hiyo story ya act, eh, activism mm. advocacy kwa ground so nilipatana na there's an organization itwa Bar Hostess Empowerment and Support Program 
inashughulikia sex workers bar hostesses na the LGBTQ eh, LGBTQ and the queer eh, community. So hao watu wakikuja wakipeana ndio walikuwa na supplier condoms, walikuja wakaangalia hapa kuna msichana anaweza tusaidia. So nilirecruitiwa kwa hiyo organization. So from there I was offered a job na hiyo organization as a sexual and reproductive health rights mm. activist so kwa, u, kwa usiku unasema unalala na wanaume kama tano sita mm. uh, ukianza kuacha ulikuwa unalala na kama wangapi uki, uki yani winning mm. you off kitoka katika hiyo kazi ukitoka sasa like mm. ina, unaendanga tu kipungua 3 mm. 2 1 okay. tena wanarudi tena unapata wanarudi tena okay. yeah but it's a process cause ndio so wale wale wa, 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 clients wako ambao wako kwa uh, simu yako ama unakwenda unasimama kwenye barabara au wenye, wenye nilikuwa nao previously okay. yes or same people mm, eh mm. kwa siku wa tatu yes okay yes nikulize unajua sasa hivi mm. uh, kumebadilika mm. hakuna usalama hakika ndio Unapochukua na mtu ambaye umjui vizuri, hauna uoga kwamba mimi ni mwanamke pengine huyu mtu ataenda geuke ya kuenyoka. Mm. Ama uone mmelala kitandani uone mgume. <laughs> na by the way it you happens. Know. Unajua kuna kuanga na story kama hizo. Wewe ulikutana na nini katika maisha yako ya ukahaba? By the way, uh, there was a time I was violated na uh, I was uh, violated with a, a client. Mm-hmm. Ilikuwa, mtu tu umechukua na yeye, umeenda na yeye maybe maybe mahali kwa room amekataa kukulipa akaanza kukupiga the next morning unajipata una nguo umepigwa au ujui wapi umalizia wapi so ndio hali yako ulifpati, ulifanyiwa hivyo yes. ulipigwa na akachukua nguo na bila nikabaki uchi na una imagine you are maybe kwa lodging ama kwa hoteli mm-hmm. hata unauliza uh, unauliza hawa watu wenyewe uh, maybe kwa reception uliona mtu anasema ajui simu yako ilikuwa wapi sina amechukua pia kila kitu pesa ulikuwa me, nilikuwa nimechukua nimepata hizo siku ameenda nazo so ni kama tu mwizi amekuja Unafikiria ni umeangukia kama wewe umeangukiwa. Okay. Yeah. So ulifanyaje? So nilianda tu hapo nikaongea na watu wa reception, nikamwambia munisaidie simu, wakanipatia manguo zao. Okay. Eh, yeah, hizo zenye zinakonga kwa hoteli, hizo za vitu zao za kulalalala, yeah. nikatoka ni, nikaomba fair watchman hapo chini nikarudi nyumbani. Okay. Yes. But it was a very bad experience kwa sababu naamka umepigwa hata mtu anaogopa kukuongelesha. Umepigwa proper. Proper. Na baada hapo Ata... kuacha sasa u- ukishapona si unarudi grao. <laughs> <laughs> Anasema amekuwa katika ukahaba kwa miaka mitatu. Wasiku analala na wanaume watano. Okay? Lakini anasema katika ile hali kuna wakati mwingine hauwezi kujipata soba. Really, mm-hmm. Sylvia? Yeah, it happens. Kwamba ni ngumu sana mm. mtu akue na wanaume kama tatu, ine, tano. Mm. kama ako, kama soba tu hivyo in uh, her right state of mind mm-hmm. it's hard so unapata huyo mtu anaanza kutumia pombe mm-hmm. so nikianza kunywa pombe unapata ai hii pombe ni kama bado inifikishi mali na faifike yani una i don't know your conscience inakwambia unachofanya si sawa ndio so ni kama you una try ku alter your conscience yes, ndio yes. ikwambie ikwambie mm-hmm. sasa kenye unafanya uko sawa mm-hmm. so ndio ikwambie kenye unafanya uko sawa lazima akili yako pia uipeleke mahali pengine mm-hmm. sasa ndio unatumia pombe mm-hmm. unaanza unaona pombe ni kama bado ija kufikisha huko mali unataka kufika mm-hmm. unaenda kwa bangi unachanganya mm-hmm. na vitu zingine mm-hmm. sasa unapata inakuja at the end of the day mm-hmm. unapata msichana ameanza ku kuwa, anaanza kuwa na mental il, nini eh akili yake inaanza ku, mm, kukaa ni kama mm, inachanganikiwa mm. kwa sababu akona ama anakuwa addicted katika yes, na madawa ya kulevya eh unapata hiyo addiction trauma pia mm-hmm. eh, psycho, ako, ako upright psychologically mm-hmm. unapata inaanza kumsumbua so unapatanga many sex workers ikifika muda fulani unaona nikaa naachilia you know nikikuangalia ukizungumza mm. you, you seem like you have your act together. Yeah. Nini kile kule hata kwa ukahaba Sylvia Shuali. Inaonekana we ni mtoto ulipelekwa shuleni, ukasoma, mm. you're well groomed, eh? Eyebrows ume shape vizuri. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yaani hauna shida za girl child. You look exposed. What nini, nini kile kule hata kwa ukahaba? So my mom ali pass away nikiwa form 1. Mm-hmm. So when she passed away, mm-hmm. nilikuwa nishaingia form 1, uh, yenda nilipeleka boarding. Mm-hmm. So kukakuwa na challenges za kunisomesha with the person I was staying with. 
the person is my it was a, a relative an uncle to say me to an uncle mm. so the the guy ikakuwa akona alichukua nilikuwa na brother mdogo mm-hmm. so your brother alikuwa in primary mimi mm. nikiwa form 1 so akachukua bibi tukaanza kukaa naye pia kwa yeye kwa hiyo nyumba so bibi yake alikuwa na wasichana wengine kando Mm-hmm. alikuwa na watoto wengine kando sorry so akakuja mpaka na watoto pia mm-hmm. so hiyo nyumba ika, ini, ita, ilikuwa one roomed house mm-hmm. so ikakuwa ni kama sisi wengine hatutoshe nyumba ilikuwa ngapi kwa familia mimi mimi i just have brother tu mmoja mm-hmm. mm. okay so ikakuwa sasa mimi na brother yangu hapo kwa hiyo nyumba hatutoshe so ikakuwa mvutano kwa hiyo nyumba kila saa vita kila saa nini mara wewe mwanamke anasema nimefanya nini nimefanya nini so ikafika a day Mwanamke akaniambia sasa unajua I was sayo nilikuwa nishatoka nimetolewa boarding nimeletwa day school mm-hmm. somewhere. Mm-hmm. So nikaambiwa mwanamke akaniambia sasa unajua hii nyumba ni yangu mzee ni wangu atakao na wake wawili kwa hii nyumba. Cuz unajua is my uncle. Ulikuwa na miaka mingapi sayo 14. 15. Okay. Nilikuwa na 15 mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. So nikaona ai hapa mimi hii pressure kila siku kila siku sitaweza. Mm. Na mimi nakoga mtu wa kufikiria haraka. So uh, nakoga tu hivyo. Sasa nikakaa nika chini nika, nikaanza kufikiria hapa nitafanya nini nitafanya nini. Mm. Nikakuja nikatulia tena then ikafika time my uncle anajua somebody mm. walikuwa maongea mali watanipeleka wapi kwa brothel. Mm. Yeah, that time sikuwa najua ni brothel. So nikapelekwa ni kama nikuuzwa huko. So nikaenda huko ndio nikaanza kujua mambo ya sex work. Okay. But that time si kwa najua ni sex work. Wewe mm. umepelekwa tu huko, umeanza ku, wanaume wameanza kuingia kwa room, wameanza kulala na wewe na wewe ujui but they were paying somewhere mm. down there. Sasa hiyo pesa ilikuwa inatumiwa nani? My uncle na alikuwa na claim hiyo pesa ndio inaweza ku sustain my small brother. Okay. Yeah. Of which it was not this equal hivyo. Ulimsamea? Kumsamea sasa unajua siwezi. Mimi hata sikwangi mtu akubeba nini? kubeba graj kwa roho yangu unaachia Mungu masawa lakini sawa umepelekwa umekuwa introduced to this mm. umepelekwa kwa brothel mm. ulitoka kwa ulitoka baada ya muda gani asikukaa sana kama miezi tatu hivi miezi mitatu kwa ndani yes, ya brothel dead. now so, ni wazi ulidhulumiwa yes ulipotoka baada ya miezi mitatu mbona mm. ukwenda kwenye kituo cha polisi na kwenda kuripoti eh. ili kuweza kusaidia wasichana kama wewe ambao wamepelekwa kwa brothel Uh, bila wao kutaka. Okay, kitu ya kwanza I was very young. So si, hata akili yangu ijapiga ti. Au watu wamenifanyia vibaya nafaa kurudi kwa polisi I report. So nilikuwa kwanza na uoga. Ndio niende sasa ati niende kwa polisi niwaambie hivi 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 na hivi mm. ikakuwa ni uoga kidogo. But there was a lady nilipata nanga na yeye. Huo mwenye sasa after sasa after kutoka huko nikaenda nikapatana na rafiki akaniweka kwake kum after kumpea story yangu. Mm. So huyo ndio ikakaa ni kama anataka Nilipatana naye wapi? Il, like sasa vile okay hiyo story na kuanga refu to cut it short mm. after kutoka kwa brothel nikatoka nje nikaanza si kurudi nyumbani mm. nikaanza kuzunguka tu kwa nini estate nikienda kulala kwa huyu kulala kwa huyu. So nikapatana tu na msichana mahali kwa barabara nilikuwa nimesimama kwa barabara unalalaje kwa nyumba za watu watu wa kujui no Ama my wanaume tu ah oh, si wanaume okay. ilikuwa tu friends hiyo mm. time sasa unajua nimetoka huko naogopa tena mm. takuonana na mwanaume okay. eh so nikakaa nikakaa huyu nikikaa hapa siku mbili anakuambia wewe enda sasa wewe enda sasa so eventually the last friend i had mm. alikuwa anafanya kazi kwa she was a boss ni waiter mm-hmm. so akaniambia juu unajua unajua mtu akiwa high school huwezi jua huyu kama ni under 18 ama ni over 18 yeah. nikapelekwa kazi kwa hiyo ba nikaanza kufanya kazi nikafanya kazi kama wiki mbili hivi nikaona ah mimi kazi sitaweza so in that hiyo course ya kufanya hizo kazi nikachuku unapata unajua unaona jua kuna wanaume kwa ba wanaanza kutaka ma waiter nini 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 so hapo tukapatana na wasichana wengine sasa wakukaa sasa kwa hizo hotspot ndio okay. eh, ndio wakanichukua akaniambia wewe sasa juu sengine unaingia job sengine uingie job si ukuje tu tufanye na wewe huku okay. juu au sana mimi nikiteremka chini nikienda home na wapata wamesimama hapo mm. so hivyo ndio ilikuwa so nika after ku, kuungana na hao wasichana tukaanza kufanya when you made it now professional mm. ulisikiaje the first night sasa it was not easy kwa sababu nilikuwa very sober siwezi mm. sahau mm. sasa unajua niko like akili yako hata haiko hapo wewe uko tu you're mm. just there okay. yani it was not uh, evil yani haikuwa it was not easy 
kilikuwa okay. ngumu sana. Na ulikuwa unatumia nini wakati ambapo ulikuwa unakutana na wanaume wako? Yo, siku za kwanza I was just okay. Unajua hizo hiyo inakuanga for you to be introduced into sex work inakuanga it's a process. Mm. Unaanza kuambia sasa tumia hii. Sasa at first siku anatumia anything, but mm. sasa nikienda na mtu napata amenunua pombe, amenunua mm. nini so mm. inaanza hapo hivyo pole pole pole, pole, pole pole pole. And kumbuka mimi mm. ni mtoto nafaa kuwa shule. So akili yangu ilikuwa inapiga my friend unafaa kutafuta vile utarudi shule. Okay. So hapo ndio tulikuwa ni kama nistaki kukunywa, ni kama nataka at 15 years. Yes. Oh. So hivyo ndio sasa ilikuwa like sasa unajaribu kufikiria mm vile uta, aim, my aim, by the my main aim si kwa si ro yangu yote iko inataka ngati ni drop shule mm, ati nimeacha mm. shule so my main aim kutafuta pesa mm. ilikuwa nita, ni weze ku raise at least hata 20000 nitafute hata day school niingie shule mm. niendelee na shule as i continue with mm. whatever mm. i'm doing mm. Mm. Masawa mimi mimi ni Alex niliwekwa nilekiwa mchele nikaibiwa kila kitu kwa lodging alafu nikatupwa <laughs> nje uchi aki ilikuwa embarrassing <laughs> Uh, Silvia ushawahi kia mwanamme mchele? Hapana. Okay. Eh, Sijawahi. But okay. najua kuna watu wanafanya. Eh, Unachukua yes. na mtu mnakwenda mm. kwa lodge, mm. unaweka mchele. <laughs> Hata uh, uweke hapo no, na eh unakaanga sasa ile mnakunywa mkienda kwa lodge ngashazima. Okay. Yes. It takes time. It takes time. Juu nategemea ni gani cuz nakoaga different. Okay. Eh, eh na umezijua. <laughs> si <Sijua. laughs> eh. Moto wa kuotea mbali geni wangu Sylvia ambaye alikuwa kahaba kabadilisha uh, maisha yake kwake ya kitambo sasa hivi uh, ana, anasema bado yuko mtaani lakini yuko mtaani kuhamasisha makahaba jinsi ambavyo unaweza kujikinga kutopata ugonjwa jinsi ambavyo unaweza kujikinga uh, anapokutana na client ambaye ni violent uh, naweza tusaidie ni Kanjo na tuhara sana sababu mimi hata juzi Kanjo ameni slap anasema mm-hmm. yeye ni kahaba kanjo kaondera yes the county askaris yes tumekuwa shid, na shida sana by the way na this uh, the local uh, pol- policy makers mm. we are trying like we are trying as bao states to try kutengeleza a good rapport with them mm. ndio wasi haras our wasana wetu wa town sana sana wasana wa town unapata huyu kwanza county askari atamslap hivyo unaweza pata ni kwa sababu amekataa kumpatia shot moja ndio asimp, asimpatia hongo unajua mm. kupatikana kwa, bar, kwa barabara au county askari wa Ntakanga wali wa honge anaomba kama anaweza saidiwa e, anataka umhonge ndio usimame hapo mm. sasa kama hauna hiyo pesa unaniambia kama saa mbili hujapata hiyo pesa sasa the other option ni unipatie shot moja sasa we e, sasa ukikataa ndio unapata utaslapiwa Unaona? We. Na this was the reason why ba hostess ilianza kufaitia rights za sex workers na ba hostesses kwa sababu ya hao askari. Mm. Askari anakuja kwa hotspot anachukua msichana anaenda kulala na yeye na amlipi. We. Now it was a... Ushawahi kutana na Kanjora? Si eh, mimi nishawahi kutana na watu wajai nishika. Okay. Yes, but ni, ni mgu mponye. Ni mgu ba, by the way ukiwa kwa barabara lazima ujue kukimbia. Ujue <laughs> kukimbia na sio una imagine mtu ako na hills. Eh. Ako hapo kwa inange ako na hills. <laughs> Rosi. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, masawi sasa. Fiti sana swali lako. Silvia. Na ningetaka kuuliza Silvia aje. Eh. Hey. Sasa yeye yeah, anasema mambo na uka hapa aliwacha na kaacha kabisa ama bado angalia kwa ndani kidogo. Okay. Na kama amewacha mm-hmm. atirudie tena. Okay, thank you Rosi. Rogers. Yes, masawi. Vipi? Salama sana hapo paka tuseme bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kwa sababu kabisa kama alibadilisha huyo. Yes. Mimi naweza sema hivi ni jaribu hata nikaenda kwa daktari mambo ya kuacha bangi lakini daktari akasema haiwezekani we mwenyewe uenda kwa kanisa wa kuombea. Okay. Mimi nataka nimuulize hivi. Yes. Kabisa alifanyaje ndio akawaje alitumia kanisa ama alitumia dawa? Pati kukiwa na mbale. Yes masawi. Eh. Network yako mbaya baba. Sikupati jamani. Saila sikuwa kiambu. Eh masawi. Eh. Sasa nima ni swali langu. Yes. Ningependa ningependa serikali tosa watu ushuru. Huwa na kutupereemba sana. Watozo ushuru. Eh, mimi kuna siku moja nilipoka na mkuu. Ulichukua mmoja. Eh. 10,000 kama umefunga macho. Siko nimefunga macho. Ilikuwaje ukapokonywa 10,000? 
Lili ana nikisi kwa stage na rudi mali vya naishi. Eh. Yeah. Najikuta niko na wale lakini hakuna kitu. Nashinda kwa hata alichukua aje. Lazima tuzenda serikali watoze ujuzi. Okay. <laughs> Alichotwa. Apora. Silvia. Yes. Sasa mimi nakuulizaje? Kwa hey. sauti yako kidogo apora. Badala ya kuhamasisha hawa watu wasije kutumia kinga and whatever. Eh. Hey. Hmm. Mbono suambia wacho kahama. Kwa mbebe ya sana nafaya kujia sana kanani. Ata kitu wanauza enyewe, walinua kujia wakujia wanzo kujia watu. Nuna <laughs> biadama kuhuna zi? Nice one by the way. Yes. Na ata sex enyewe, si kitu ya kuhuwa ni sex ni kitu kwa hapo for reproduction and enjoyment. Kwa wala mbono meona. Ok. Kwa mbono mbono na mnaio, kwa mbono mbono mbono. Ok. Kwa mbono 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 Apora anasema hmm. umekinunua wapi ndio kiuze. <laughs> si biashara. Eh? Anauliza mbona uko kweli? Which I think is quite a fair question, eh? Hmm. Kwamba wewe ulitoka. Hmm. Uliona hatari zake. Aina manufaa, unasikia just you're empty. Kama wewe ulitoka, mbona usihamasishe hawa wasichana wenzako pia wasi wa, waache ukahaba? Uh, kitu ya kwanza uwezi ambia mtu aache ukahaba na iwache hivyo kwa sababu you have not offered another option kwa sababu ukiniambia acha ukahaba na nimpatie kazi nyingine ni sawa cuz mm-hmm. nitamwambia aache na niambia amewacha kesho nikirudi hapo nitampata mm-hmm. why because the government itself cannot even sustain our what our wasichana tu useme wa, wa, wa peane nini eh, job eh, opportunities employment zipatikane nao mm. unajua hiyo ndio unajua ukahaba na upate mtu kama maybe mwizi mwambie wacha wizi ukuje nikupatie kazi mm. anaweza wacha uambie kahaba kama ni kitu cha damu Sylvia na, is si, it true si vitu na damu no kwamba ukishia kuwa kahaba wa, basi wezi wa, toka watu wengi wako hapo si kupenda kwao mm. mm. watu wengi wako hapo si, si kupenda kwa mtu that's why ni, i take my initiative na try kuongelesha wasichana like una hata kama hawezi toka but m- off, just offer something else maybe mwambie the prevention measures ukifanywa hivi unaweza fanywa hivi because ni ngumu sana we cannot offer ati tumpatie job ama tumpatie nini ama a, ama tumlipie nyumba kwa sababu ameacha ukahaba hapana what we do we just offer prevention aifanye lakini unajua upo mm. lakini ajikinge yes mm.